You're listening to the Ask Drone You podcast. You ask, we answer your drone questions. Whether you're here to turn your passion into profit or you simply fly for fun, we're a community of learners and teachers who aspire to achieve greatness. We are Drone You. Hey everyone, welcome to a very awesome, quick, informative episode of Ask Drone You. My name is Paul. My name is Rob. Episode 679 is on hand. Thank you for being with us. Excited to be with you. The question for today, can your investments of drone gear actually go bad quickly? And just like anything in the stock market, the answer is yes. What were you going to say? I was going to say, it just hit me, I said 679. It's actually 769. Not important, but just to not confuse you guys too much. I'm, I'm so back to your question. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> I derailed you. It's okay. But that was important to it's me to get it right. It's a beautiful day. It's it, okay. it is like a beautiful I day. haven't done that to you a thousand times. Okay, <laughs> come on. Uh, anyway, um, we're excited because uh, we're going to be talking about something that seems like people don't like, but it is a nasty truth of the drone industry. So we're going to be talking about that today. So uh, pucker up, kiddos. We're on for a ride. Um, today's show is brought to you by our friends at the Drone U Community, the only drone school where you can get 30 classes for one low monthly price of $47 a month and have instantaneous access to a community of like-minded learners who keep you motivated and inspired. Just go to droneu.education and check it out today. All right, let's hear that question, Robbo. Hi there. I watched your podcast on battery maintenance and I was a little confused in what you were saying. I fly in Florida for the winter almost every two to three days. When I return home to Canada, I will not fly probably for two, maybe three months due to the weather conditions. Let the batteries drain down before I get home and they will be stored for a minimum of two months. Does this mean that I am destroying my batteries by doing this? This is what I understood from your podcast. Is there any way I can prevent this, or do I need to use the batteries at least once a month to keep them have a longer life? Thank you. Thank you very much for the question. Um, One thing we must say, is that, well, I'm curious where you are in Canada, number one, and how cold it gets. Yeah, because because, uh, our buddy in Toronto was uh, at a balmy 45 degrees yesterday. Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah, because you're just, it sounds like he's just now heading back to Canada, so. Snowbird. Yes, absolutely. I plan to be one someday. (laughs) Hopefully sooner rather than later. It's a term of endearment? As far as I'm concerned, it is. Don't know how you meant it. But um, we fly certainly in low twenties, anyways. Here, yeah, not not a lot, but it's doable. I right? think the long and the short answer is yes. If you don't fly your batteries for a couple months, you do run the risk of ruining them. Um, you can let them stay for a couple months, uh, but depending on the type of battery that it is, there's a huge potentiality that you're not going to be able to uh, you're not going to be able to use those batteries again. It's happened to me with Inspire batteries. It's happened with Phantom batteries. It's happened with Mavic batteries. Um, so I would say go out and make sure to fly them once a month. I don't think it's that hard. And, uh, either that or, you know, buy new batteries. I think it's that simple. Yeah. But you don't want to do that. It's a lot of money. It is a lot of money. So flying once a month is, you think would be adequate. I think so. Yeah. Yeah. And mm-hmm. then just draining them again when you do that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Should be well, good. Well, if you're flying, that shouldn't be hard to do. Yep. But I would <laughs> say uh, make sure to get out and fly like once a month. That's how you can protect your investment. So And stay sharp too. Keep exactly. those flight skills sharp. Yeah. That's, it shouldn't just be a seasonal thing. Otherwise, you're not going to enjoy it the next time because you're going to have such another long learning curve getting back into the swing of things, at least yeah. in my opinion. Yeah. So it's not like riding a bike. Is that no. what you're saying? No, no, no. And even riding a bike. Come on. Let's be real. Right. I guess if you it haven't ridden a bike, which... if you haven't ridden a bike for a couple of years and you go for a little bike ride and you're like, I'm gonna cruise the boardwalk like I used to do in my early twenties, chances of you making it to the end of the boardwalk and back are low. Okay. <laughs> Look out, real. people. <laughs> I mean, I'm just saying that there is there's some sort of learning curve even there when is. riding a bike. That's true. But I suppose it depends on what you're doing with a bike, just as it depends on what you're doing with a drone. True. Right? Maybe I so. take life a little seriously. <laughs> I don't know about that. But <laughs> anyways. <laughs> anyways, I think that answers uh, our question for the day. If you have a question, go to askadroneu.com, upload that question, 
and thank you for the reviews. We do read them, and thank you for sharing the show. We do appreciate that as well. Um, as of right now, too, if you're a Drone U member, the new editing class is out, so make sure to check that out. Um, it's a really good one, very, very thorough, so I'm happy with that. But anyway, that's going to do it for us today. My name is Paul. My name is Rob. And this is Ask Drone U. Ask Drone U.